Hello, my name is Bob, and I'm going to show you how to build and animate models using the iOS app Voxel. Here we have the Voxel startup screen, and this is a model that I imported using the binvox file format. But uh, for today's demonstration, we're going to start with a new file, and I'm just going to call this Walker. Use the autocorrect there. And uh, we're going to make a little stick figure just walking across the ground as a simple example. So let's first just make some ground to start off with. We got the grid here. And what I'm going to do is use the flood fill tool just to fill in an area of ground. Okay, now I'm going to get the add tool back. And what we want to do is we want the ground to be on the background layer. We want to make a separate layer for our little character. So we go to the layers tools and this button controls the visibility of the layers and here we have our background. Background is where we put the the green and I can turn that on and off. So we're going to make a new layer, add layer, and we get a question about moving the blocks from the background to the other layer. We don't want to do that. Okay, so now it says new layer, a new blank layer has been created and we're going to give it the name man. Alright, now we don't really need to use the layers right now. We're going to actually build our man. Let's start off, I'm going to pick a color for his shoes. I'm going to zoom in down here and just, let's see, is that on the ground? No, it's above the ground a little bit, so I'm going to undo that. I'm going to put two blocks there for his feet and pick a color for sort of a clothing, maybe a color for some hands and a face. And just say that's our little person that we want to animate. Okay, now what we want to do is just use the hand tool and that way we'll use all the same voxels that we've already created. We're just going to move them from frame to frame. Um, in order to start animating, we're going to go back to the layers menu and you notice across the top, like I can look at, I, I don't really need to see this, we're going to use the man layer uh, entirely, so I can close that. But across the top here, you see it says man keyframes. And uh, this little purple strip is just an information box. I'm going to shut that. So we have one keyframe, and that's the snapshot of our guy. And what we're going to do is copy that. So I hit that C button, and it doesn't look like anything happened, but across the top, you see now we have two keyframes. Now, anything that I do on this second frame is not going to affect the first frame. So I'm going to use the hand tool and just move that step forward. And I'm going to move this, let's say, let's just move all of these blocks um, forward one, like that. And I'm going to leave that one foot behind. And so now if I go back to, I can tap, let me turn this grid off, I can tap between the keyframes and we can see our two guys. And actually if I hit play, um, it'll step like that. So what we want to do is just quickly create a few frames just by copying the previous frame and then moving the new frame. So there's there's a frame. Then let's step forward with this like that. Let's copy that, bring that forward. Um, let's see what we have. So that gives you a pretty good idea, just using the hand tool, how you can create some simple animation. If you wanted to, that guy to move faster, one thing we could do is use the gear menu and you can stretch shrink time. So we can multiply all our keyframes by 0.5. That'll make them go twice as fast, like it takes place in half the time. There we go. And I can actually create multiple layers, multiple characters, uh, just using that same method that we just used. Um, but as a, a final example, I want to show you how you animate the camera as well. The camera animation happens on the background layer. So you select the background, which the background is fixed. It can't have 
The shape of it can't change, like the model doesn't, doesn't change. But what you can do on the background layer is animate camera keyframes. So up here, what we can do is hit the plus button and it saves our camera position. And so then what I can do is change the camera's camera position and we'll make a new keyframe like that. And I'm just going to go go through and make a few keyframes. Each time I'm, I'm just setting my view where I want it to be and then hitting the plus button. And each time it's creating a little keyframe across the top. Now if we hit play, the camera runs through the positions that we set and also our little man is walking through his set of keyframes. And uh, if I wanted to, I could uh, set this layer uh, to loop, the background layer, and then it wouldn't stop at the end. It would just go back to its initial position once it hit the last keyframe. And that's pretty much all there is to uh, animation with Voxel. From here, we could go and export the frames to Dropbox to do something in After Effects or what have you. and. Uh, we could also just uh, submit the file to the gallery so that other, other uh, Voxel users could see it. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you.